there is something wrong with UBC. We should sit down and sort this thing out. And I'm going to also talk to the minister. The owners insist that they all have different agreements with the state broadcaster, which must be revisited to ascertain who violated the pact. Because some of these contracts were given to these people where, where UBC would give them everything, shelter, including power, including the mast. When they made a contract with UBC, UBC was not supposed to meet any of their utility bills. But as police continues with this operation, one wonders how the closures will affect the economy as the country struggles to rebuild herself in the current economic crisis. Uh, each one of those stations employ between 30 to 50 people. These people uh, get money, they also pay electricity and water. According to police, power bills mounting to over 300 million shins had been defaulted. However, several affected media houses are challenging this. In fact, some are ready to seek court redress for the illegal disconnection in relation to the areas. We know that the Minister of Information has been pushing to try and prove a point, but I don't think this is the way to go. Uh, WBS has said that they are going to go to, to court. If they can prove what they are saying, they will go to court and get redress. This is a free country. The broadcasters now insist that UBC should not be allowed to monopolize the proposed digital migration scheme, as argued by government saying the recent events have exposed the loopholes at the state broadcaster. They should not be the one running these uh, assets of masts. They should not be running the digital. It should be an independent company, and we all hire. It is understood that the association is also planning to meet the president over the same matter. Julius Senkandwa, NTV.